Welcome, and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. My name is Dave Warren. I'm a Senior Technical Support Engineer for MailStore. In the next few minutes, I'm going to give you an overview of the advantages of email archiving and present our software solution, MailStore Server. It's not without certain pride that we can claim MailStore Server to be one of the world's leading archiving solutions for small and medium businesses. Over 27,000 companies of all sizes and from all sectors in over 100 countries are using MailStore Server, currently available in version 9. Our solution's highly sophisticated storage technology is fully integrated and does not require any external database software such as SQL Server. MailStore Server supports almost all relevant email systems and archiving methods and can be installed right out of the box within a few minutes. Last but not least, its one-time purchase spring price makes MailStore Server attractive for small companies too. Before I do the live presentation of MailStore Server, I want to take a look at the advantages of email archiving first. Email is not only one of the most important communication media, but also one of the most complete and valuable information resources. At the same time, email poses a growing challenge to IT administrators. Businesses are faced with the challenge of meeting a growing number of regulations on email compliance, e-discovery, and other legislation. And users can generally delete email from their mailboxes at will. To companies, this means a perpetual and irrevocable loss of important information. Steadily increasing amounts of email put a strain on email servers and result in increasing storage costs that can exceed IT budgets rapidly. The growing email volume makes backup and restore of email servers within a given amount of time increasingly difficult. Additionally, the restore of end-user emails has to be done by the IT department, which is costly in terms of time. For end-user productivity, fast and comfortable access to their emails is critical. Often, email is stored in external clouds, outside of one's own control and without a local backup as a safeguard. Now let me show you how to meet these challenges with MailStore Server. MailStore Server helps organizations meet compliance requirements for email, including data retention and discovery, controlled access to data, and policy enforcement. The two components to achieve this are each major release of MailStore Server is examined and certified by an independent, renowned auditing company. The certification is designed to ensure that MailStore can meet the internationally recognized standards for email retention. Furthermore, the comprehensive technology concept of MailStore Server ensures completeness of the archive, with the archive itself being tamper-proof, for example. These aspects play into a major role for meeting the second challenge, data loss prevention. If a technical malfunction results in data loss on the email server, it can normally be restored from backup. But email also gets lost every day without an email server backup being able to prevent this. As mentioned before, end users are usually able to delete mail from their mailboxes at will. Sooner or later, these emails will not be part of any backup. MailStore Server provides a simple solution. All email can be archived as soon as it is received or sent, that is, before they arrive in the end user's mailboxes. Additionally, all existing email can be archived in a single step. Another risk in this regard are PSD files. These files, which are often stored in different locations that are not part of any backup, can be easily archived centrally with MailStore Server and thus be stored permanently. Let's go on to the next challenge, the ever-increasing amount of email. For most companies, end-user email is still the primary communication medium. Therefore, data volumes on the email server increase accordingly, and so do storage requirements. If you do not have an unlimited budget or are prepared to limit this growth with end-user impeding storage quotas, you as an IT admin are in for more and more problems. MailStore Server offers a simple and effective solution for this too. The archiving process can be configured so that emails are being deleted from mailboxes after they've been archived successfully. This allows the workload of the email server to be maintained at a consistently low level. Of course, end users still have access to all their email via the archive. With the decrease of data load comes another advantage regarding email server backup and restore. The connection is simple. Reducing the amount of data to be backed up on the email server also reduces the time necessary for backup and restore. Thanks to MailStore Server, the available time frame can now be permanently reduced. Another quite personal relief for many IT admins with MailStore Server, end users can restore email that have been deleted accidentally or otherwise have gotten lost back into their mailbox by themselves with just one click. The need to restore email backups by the IT department becomes a thing of the past. By the way, 
Archived emails can be replied to and forwarded directly in the email client without having to restore them first. MailStore Server offers all users a one-click restore function to achieve this. This leads us to the significance of email with regards to the productivity of end users. While I've been talking about the advantages of email archiving for the company and IT admins up to this point, I now want to demonstrate the advantages for end users. For them, MailStore Server offers extremely fast, full-text searching for all emails and all types of file attachments. It allows searching of huge amounts of data within split seconds, and thus will increase acceptance of MailStore Server in your company considerably. Additionally, end user access is also possible via the original folder structure as well. End users can use several access paths, such as the seamless Outlook integration, which I will show you in a short while. Another plus for end users is the elimination of productivity blockades, such as quotas, through the already mentioned workload reduction on the email server. Email archiving offers several advantages as a rule. This includes using email as evidence in lawsuits, independence from external cloud services by means of a local copy, as well as meeting e-discovery requirements. You can find more information on these topics on our website and in our white papers. Before starting the live demo, I want to give you a short summary of the underlying MailStore technology. MailStore Server supports almost any relevant email system, such as local servers, such as Microsoft Exchange, cloud-based email services, such as Office 365 or Google Apps, any IMAP or POP3 compatible email server, internet mailboxes, such as Gmail, PSTs and other email files, email clients, such as Microsoft Outlook and Mozilla Thunderbird. In our online help, you can find several implementation guides that detail the configuration of archiving for a particular email system. Basically, emails can be archived in two ways. These can also be combined. By archiving all email as soon as it is sent or received, you can make absolutely sure that your company's email is archived. With Microsoft Exchange, this is achieved by configuring and regularly archiving a journal mailbox. Additionally, existing email can be archived from mailboxes, public folders, and shared mailboxes, either as a one-time import or an automated process. Email are archived in the MIME compatible format into the archives of their owners. These can be created manually or through synchronization with directory services such as Active Directory. The core of the mail store server consists of a highly sophisticated and fully integrated storage technology that sets us apart significantly from the competition. Even with a large number of users and large amount of data, mail store server does not require an external SQL server, but it can use it if requested. Save 30 to 70% storage space in comparison to the email server through single instance archiving and compression. SHA hashes and AES-256 encryption ensure that archive data cannot be tampered with. Internally, a complete archive can consist of any number of individual archive stores in the file system. This concept allows a flexible storage management and guarantees scalability for any volume of data and any number of users as well. There are multiple ways for end users to access the archive. The MailStore add-in for Microsoft Outlook that integrates seamlessly into an end user's usual working environment. Web Access, which also supports modern smartphones and tablets. The integrated IMAP server that gives any IMAP-compatible email client read access to the archive. MailStore Server has completely removed the need for users to access stub objects and other technologies that detract from server performance and always offers a direct line of view into the archive regardless of the access path. Now that I've guided you through the theory, I'd like to present MailStore Server live. For this I prepared an out-of-the-box installation, like you would find right after the first installation. By the way, MailStore Server can be installed using the principal next, next, OK on any Windows machine. You can even use your workstation for a first test or install MailStore Server in parallel to your email server. There's absolutely no risk in testing since no changes whatsoever are made to your existing systems, email, or the email server. This is the MailStore start page which contains the dashboard. This is going to be the first screen that you'll see in a fresh installation, and it contains an overview of all the configuration of your server. The first step in a new server would be to add some users. You can use directory services to synchronize users from Active Directory. It's possible to limit the synchronization based on user groups. In this case, we've created a group called MailStore Users, which contains all the users that we'll be using for this demo. And as we synchronize, we can see the users that we've loaded from Active Directory and a little bit of information about each user. Next, we'll archive some email. We're going to be archiving from Microsoft Exchange. 
using a multiple mailbox profile. We've already created an account in Exchange, which has permissions to access mail belonging to all users. This is the application impersonation permission. So we're going to go ahead and connect to Exchange, entering its host name, as well as the username and password of this service account. In the next dialog, we can control what messages are archived. The default is to archive all messages from all folders and all messages regardless of date, but you can set some date criteria if you want. You'll also note that messages are not deleted by default. However, you can have mail store configured to delete messages automatically. In the next dialog, we'll see the list of users that will be archived by this profile. The default is to archive mail for all users, and you can tell MailStore to synchronize with directory services before archiving. Now we're going to set it to run automatically in the background and click Finish to start archiving. At this point, MailStore will start archiving in the background, leaving us free to look at how MailStore operates from an end user's perspective. We'll look at MailStore from the Outlook add in. Once installed, it shows up as a tab or toolbar in Outlook, and this can be deployed using group policies. This allows you to quickly search for messages based on entering in keywords to the quick search feature. For instance, we could put in the keyword newsletter and find all the newsletters we've received. We could also use the advanced search, which would show us all messages based on more specific criteria. For example, we could search just in the subject, message body, send a recipient, or by date, or any other criteria that the user happens to know. And this will allow us to quickly and easily filter our list. Once we find a message we want to interact with, we can click on it to select it, and this will bring up a preview. We can then open the message in a full Outlook window, allowing us to reply, forward, or print the message, all without actually restoring it. Finally, we do have the option to allow users to restore messages from their archive, simply by clicking the Restore Message button, and then dragging the message back to their mailbox, and this will restore it into Outlook. Finally, I want to emphasize an aspect that is most important to us. Since the foundation of our company, we have specialized in developing email archiving solutions. It is part of our philosophy to invest our development capabilities primarily into stable, highly performant, and low maintenance technology that works reliably with high workloads for years to come. I'd recommend that you check our change log to get an unfiltered view on our way of working. More than 27,000 small and medium businesses of all sectors, as well as many public and educational institutions use MailStore. And I just want to mention the millions of private users that trust our technology by using MailStore Home. Our smallest customers start with five user licenses, but companies with up to 500 users can implement a solution quickly and easily by themselves as well. Larger companies should consult our technical support and discuss their scenarios with them first. Our customer satisfaction has been confirmed in a recent survey. 486 business customers responded to our appeal and rated MailStore Server in terms of product features, support, and documentation. 97% of those surveyed would recommend the email archiving solution to others. 96% of respondents rated stability as very good or good. 93% judged performance of the software solution as very good or good. You can download the full survey from our website as a PDF. Even better, start the MailStore experience today by downloading our free, fully functional 30-day trial. You can reach our technical support team for all questions by email or phone at any time. Thank you for your time and have fun archiving.